everyone, welcome to our class today. My name is Christine. Today's class is going to be a cardio mix. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do our cardiovascular movement that will improve our circulation, help with our overall fitness, as well as different other exercises such as strength, stretch, Pilates. We're gonna mix it up um, so that way there we get various muscles targeted and strengthened. So let's get started. We want to start nice and tall in our chair. So kind of slide back a little bit. You're not all the way back in the chair, but you're sitting really tall in the middle of the uh, chair. And you want your feet nice and flat on the floor. So you want to take a nice deep breath up. Inhale and exhale all the way out. Now make sure you're breathing. You have the right pattern. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Try to keep any tension out of the shoulders. Deep breath up and exhale all the way down. Now very slowly, let's just bend forward so we get a little flexion in our back. And we wanna sit up, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Let's go forward, tighten the core, take it up again twice more. Let's press forward slowly, keep that neck long, and take it up. Now slowly, let's get a stretch over the head, inhale, and exhale, melt into that stretch, relax that neck. One inch lower, take it out slow to the other side, inhale, and exhale, use that waist all the way down, keep that neck long, excellent, right there. Now let's open our arms, and again, think like you have an imaginary bar pressing down, so you're really working those back muscles and shoulders, get a nice twist to the right, come around center, and left. Now think about this as you're turning, you're tightening those abdominals, you're pressing, try not to let there be space in the thighs. You want to squeeze the thighs together, come around once more, and twist, come around. Now let's take gentle touches forward as we push down. And think again, like you're pushing against that resistance, like you have small weights. So you don't want to just flop them down, you want to push. So I really feel my upper back when I do that. Let's take four, three, two, one, a little chest forward as I contract my stomach muscles. I don't want to lean with my chest. My chest is nice and high. I'm tightening my abdominals as I touch, touch, four, three, two, one. Now let's stretch it nice and high over our head with the pointed toe. So point right there. We start off fairly slow. We want to warm up those muscles. We're going to take four, three, two, one, and come down all the way as we tap forward. And see my arms come all the way up behind my back, so I engage my upper back muscles, push forward through my chest, and lift. Again, exhale, the focus is on the abs, contracting them, and inhale, lift that chest. Let's do that twice more. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to use my full body. I just don't want to use my arms and legs. I want to engage my whole torso, so we're getting that blood going through, improving our circulation, coming up, and then open all the way side. Let's just shake it out. Now this time, what we wanna do is bring our arms in front of us, and again, think pressing down. Don't lift those shoulders, press those shoulders down. You're just gonna open for our posture and contract. So this is an inhale and an exhale as I march gently. So we're slowly getting into our cardio movement right here. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that twice more. Open slow and close slow. One more time. Open and close. Now clasp those arms over the head. Bring that right heel forward. You want to get a nice stretch down and bring it up again. So exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. One more time. Let's contract down slow and lift, switch it to the other leg. Now again, be mindful of your posture. You don't wanna lean back. So see the difference from that? My heel is flat, my chest is lifted. I press forward and I lift, tightening my stomach muscles. I press forward, slow hold and bring it up. Let's take it one more time. Press it down, hold and take it up. Now open those arms at an angle. We just want to get a nice stretch over and over. We're taking our time. So this works our waist and our obliques. Lift and take it over one more time. So see how the movement is continuous. I don't want to stop. 
come down and shake it all up. Now we should be fairly warm in our muscles, so we kind of want to get those feet going a little faster, shifting our weight so we're working on our balance with a little press out to the center. Breathe. Now let's slowly turn to the right, center, left, center. Same thing, keep those elbows side, pump it out, and center again. So I'm sitting right in the center of my chair, over again, turn, over one more time, turn, and over right there. Now march it out. As I march, I just want to kind of bend those elbows, pumping them out. Nice strong arms. Up and down, up and down. Now let's take our feet apart and we're pumping right there. Shifting my weight all the way up. Now push it down all the way up. So again, get a little contraction in the abs. Pull it all the way up again. Down slow and lift slow. Two more. Down slow and up slow. Once more. Down and up. Great job. Now bring it together, circle those arms. Let's take a gentle heel touch. Heel, heel. Now we want to raise our arms over the head. Remember we talked about this. Anytime the arms come over the head, the heart rate automatically elevates. So you don't even need to go that fast. Just by raising those arms, your heart rate's going to come up. So we get that cardiovascular system working. Right there. Take it over the head. Gentle heel touches with tight abdominals. That's the key to this, to really support the lower back. You want to pull those abdominals in. My elbows are side. Breathe over the head. Lift, lift, lift. Take it down, center. Now slowly, let's bring it out and in. Out and in. Let's switch this to a toe touch. So I'm contracting and lifting. So I want to get my body working the whole time, over and under. Let's, this is a very simple movement, so let's increase it a little bit. Squeezing the upper back and shoulders, tight core. I have four, three, two, one, back to our march, shake it out. Now right from there, let's take a gentle heel touch. Heel, just working on our legs into that lateral movement. Now this time, let's bring the arm up with a little bend. Focusing on my waist. So on these simple movements, try to see if you can increase it a little bit, the intensity, so we really get that working. And think of reaching out of that waist. So see the difference from this. I'm still low in my chair as opposed to that. I'm coming up. So I'm really targeting my midsection right there. Four, three, two, one. Now push it out. Push it out. Now let's drag it into the center. And out to the center again. In, sit tall, and out. So I'm working my legs and arms together. My elbows, look at my positioning. I don't want them down, I want them out. So I'm really emphasizing those shoulders as I take it in and out. Same thing. In and out. I have two more. In, sit tall, and out one more time. In and out. Stay right here. Now push it forward. Forward and back. We're going to combine these two movements so that we'll work on our coordination a little bit. Let's take four, three, two. Now march it out. Take it in and out. Same thing. A little more intensity on that and out. Two more sets and out. One more set. In. Now stay right here. We push and pull. Push and pull. I'm sitting tall, feeling my abdominals contract into my back. So I'm using that to get my posture. Four, three, two. Let's repeat that once more. Bring it in and out. Same thing. Keep that neck really long and out. Two more. One and out. Once more. In and out. Heel forward. We push and pull. Push. Elbows up. Exhale again. Exhale. Four more. One, two, three, four, march it down. I just shake it out right there. Let's cross our right over our left because we did a lot of work on that shoulder and arm. So we want to kind of stretch it. And remember, don't compress that joint. The arm is above the joint as I march. Pull it over and hold. Now slowly switch it. Other side, tighten the abs, pull it across. 
and hold right there, take it down. Now slowly I want a little knee lift. Now same thing, I don't want to be back in my seat. So see, I give you a visual. I don't want you to be down. I want you to be up and alternate that arm so you want to stretch. So this is very slow. I'm extending and lifting, tightening my abs. So see how I push that arm high behind me. Now remember, there's a modification. Some of you may not be able to lift your leg. So what I'd like you to do is just do a gentle toe touch, but work again. Don't just drop that arm down. So see the difference from this? I want that arm up behind you. So you're working your shoulder more or lift that leg if you can. Only tap the toe if you cannot elevate the leg. I'd rather have you lift that leg. That creates more resistance. Or again, if it's too much, you can just tap it and lift. I have four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Now let's take a nice big stretch all the way back. Open that chest. One more all the way forward and hold. Now turn that doorknob as we tap that heel. So turn it right there. Keep that head nice and long with a tight abdominal. Now let's turn it to the back with a toe touch. So you're turning that doorknob, feeling those arms. Nice tall torso. Four, three, two, one. Now take it over again. Over right there. So we're kind of using our waist a little bit, twisting and bringing that arm up at an angle, a little faster. And the reason why I'm speeding this up is I really want to get that blood flowing through that torso right there. Four, three, two, one, pull it forward. Now over that head, get a nice side bend, center and side, center two more, side, one more, over and side. Now this time kind of let those arms shake over the head. Nice wide stance. Center. Drop that chest. Here. Over the head. Make it really sharp. So you're pushing with the back of the arm. I'm dropping from my waist. Center. Over that head again. Center. Drop it down. Center. Over the head. Two more sets. So I really feel my upper body. My core is tight, I come center, over that head. Now heel, touch, heel, touch. So I'm pushing it back. So push with the back of that arm right there. Let's take four, three, two. Now I'm gonna switch it to a toe touch with a bicep. Toe touch, bicep. And again, I'm not throwing it, I'm kind of resisting as I bend. So I'm getting a contraction in the bicep, no tension in the shoulders, five, four, three, two, one, shake it down. Now shake it down, bring it back, and bring it center, same thing. Inhale, hold, and exhale twice more. Down slow, and lift slow once more. Down slow, and lift slow. Now my arms are in front of me, I'm doing that bicep as I'm touching my shoulders. Right there, I have four, three, Two, now what I want to do is tap that toe, take it out to that tricep. Really feel those arms, push it back, back. I have four, three, two, one, push it down. And again, kind of swing those arms, getting that blood flowing. Now relax that neck down so we're not tensing it. Lift that head, tip it over to the left. Stretch out that neck, up to the right, stretch and hold. Now I'm slowly lowering my legs, so I'm going to get into my strength, stretch, and balance exercises now. So I kind of want to just lift those legs one at a time, slowing it down, lift, and again, focusing on my core. I'm lifting. Now I want my hands, again, I don't want to grip my head, hands at the side of my head. I want to take a little contraction and a release. Exhale, inhale. Now notice how I'm not doing this. I'm not going all the way back. I'm sitting, that's why it's important to sit on an elevated surface, so your hips are lifted. Inhale, exhale, down, squeeze that core. So it's a little bit of a rocking motion, pressing my belly button into my lower back. I have four, four, 
three, take your time, two, one. Now, march it out, separate those legs. I just want to twist right, center, and bend, center. Let's twist left. So again, barely touch that head. Side of the head, a little release, and a lift. Same thing. Squeeze, twist, hold, slow, center, bend, lift. Same thing. Exhale, center, contract. Two more. Twist, center, bend, lift. Last time. Twist, center, bend, lift. Lift. Now a nice wide knee over the head. I want you to tap the inside of the leg, lift it up. So tap, keeping that head center so it's all in your body. Notice I'm not turning my head. My head is center. I'm turning my body into a V. So I really feel that oblique. Exhale again. Twist. I have four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now take a nice stretch, reach down that leg, inhale, and exhale, melt into that stretch. Never bounce, you can breathe and just kind of let the gravity pull you over. Come up slow, other side, inhale, and exhale. Release that neck all the way down, one more inch. Breathe, and take it out. Great job there, let's bring our feet together. Now slow shoulder rotation, right there. So now we wanna work a little bit on our legs and core and lower back. So what I'd like to do, we're gonna do a compound exercise. This is a little bit different, something we haven't done. So we wanna attach our heels. So look at my feet. I don't want my heels apart. I want my heels touching on the floor. Now what I'd like to do is place my hands, a little bit of pressure on your chair, now all you're going to do is you're going to draw those knees in as you press. So see how my heels are up? Then I'm going to stretch them together. So this is my inhale. Sit tall. Exhale. Press those heels. So if they're separated, I want them to touch. So you get that resistance when you pull back and pull out. Now some of you may not be able to lift the legs. Again, your alternative will be here. Sliding into the floor. Sliding out to the floor. So in, see how it's nice and low, but you can still apply that pressure on the side of the chair, still tighten your abs. So this is level one for those of you that cannot lift your legs. What I prefer though, is if you can, I like you to bring them up. So that will engage your midsection more, work those inner thighs a little bit more. So inhale, push down on that chair, exhale again. Down slow, and out, so we're working our quads too. Nice, slow movement. Down, take your time, hold, and extend. I have two more. Down, slow, hold, and extend. Keep that head nice and tall. Down, slow, hold, and extend. Excellent. Now here, I want you to turn your feet together and just turn them out. So I'm squeezing my thighs and I'm opening, keeping my hands flat, in and out. And remember, if that's too much, you can stay on the floor. The idea is to tighten that midsection, squeeze those inner thighs. So where does the exhale come? On the movement, the exertion. Exhale, inhale. Let me hear you breathe. Exhale, and inhale. Or try to get those legs lifted a little bit. You'll feel that a little bit more. Squeeze right there. Squeeze that midsection. Five more. One, two, I'm really feeling my inner thighs as well. Three, four, five. Excellent. Just kind of let those legs shake out a little bit in place. Now we want to take a nice stretch on both legs. So slide up in your chair a little bit, extend those legs. Place those hands on the thighs. You want to lean forward, inhale. And exhale, reach with a lot of energy straight out, relax that neck. Now I'm just kind of tipping side to side, getting a stretch through my back. Great job there. Pull forward, lean back, lower that head. Now reach all the way up. Gentle side stretch to the right. 
stay. Again, you want to hold for at least 10 seconds to get the maximum benefit of the stretch. Lift up and over from the hip, other side. Exhale, keep that head long. Stay right there. Open those arms side. Now place those hands underneath you. Round that lower back, drop that head. Sit up tall one more time. Contract back, stay low, hold. And sit up tall. Great job there. Now separate your feet. And we're gonna work a little bit on our lower back and core. So the same thing, the posture is key on this. You don't wanna be pulling back in the seat. You wanna think of that string lifting you really tall. So it's like you're almost growing a couple of inches. Your hands are at the side. What I want you to do is come down slow to a flat back. Do not drop the whole chest and lower the head. I always show you the wrong version so you can visually see what not to do versus what to do. So remember, we're not doing this. We're not coming down. We're starting tall. We're coming down from our hip right there. Then I want to bend right, left, over, over. So it's a sequence of four exercises. So here we go. We're coming forward, bending again. Now nice wide stretch and reach, over, sit up. Try that with me. My feet are flat, toes, don't turn them out, toes parallel. So come down on a flat plane, the head is nice and flat. Up, up, over, over. And again, it's not rushed, right there. So exhale, press, press, over that head stretch and then sit up. So try that with me. Down, I'm taking my time, using my waist. Nice wide stretch, and lift. I have two more. Flat back, tight abdominals, over, over, and then you lift once more. So you don't wanna rush it. Each part, see how I stop, stop, over, over and lift. Excellent, right there. Now place your hands on the top, not on your knees, top of the thighs. Sink back to take the stress off the back. Lift that body straight. So this cat-cow stretch, I come back, I tighten my abdominals, relax my neck, squeeze my thighs one more time. I come back into that stretch hold, stay, and I sit really tall. Now let's take our arms forward, slide our feet back, not behind the chair, they're still flat. I just wanna get a little twist and center, squeezing my thighs. Twist again, twist, let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Now lower and just kind of move side to side, releasing that lower back. So this is a cardio mix class, so we're gonna mix it up with a lot of different elements. So let's go on to a few balance exercises. So I was up a little bit further in my chair. Let me see if I can slide back just slightly. Now what we're going to do is, again, I want you to sit back, but I don't, so see the difference? I'm kind of low in my seat. I wanna sit with my feet flat, nice and tall with my hips. Now my arms are at my side. I'm going to lift and extend, gradually bring it down. Exhale for balance, come down. Now if that is too much, again, you can just slide those feet on the floor. Really feel that energy through the arms. Squeeze back into a row movement. So this is a little easier. Only do this version if you cannot elevate your legs. What I prefer is lift really tall out of the chair, pull it back in. So as you get stronger, you can always go back to these exercises and build on them. You want to stretch and release or take it here if you can't lift your legs. I just want you to have movement. So that's really the goal of all of this is to move the body. It doesn't really matter what you're doing at any particular time. Through the whole class, you just want to keep yourself moving. Let's do three and down two, and down, one more, one, and down, now drop over right there, the arms are flat, 
Now I want a contraction back, tighten those abs, and press the chest forward again. Exhale, contract. Inhale, go forward. Now both arms over the head, reach out of that waist. Really keep yourself nice and tall. Four, three, two, hold and open all the way down. Now your head just goes to the one side, slow circle, and up one more time, slow circle, and up. Now your head is forward, just shake everything out, get that blood going. Now let's work a little bit on our upper body and our posture. So now slide up again a little bit more. Take both arms over the head. Now don't have your palms back. I want your palms facing so you're shaking out those fingers, get that blood flowing. Now you want to squeeze down and lift again. Exhale, keep that posture nice and strong. Feel that upper back right there. Again, four and lift. Three, keep those elbows side. Two and one. Now right from here, I want you to lift that right leg, a little twist for your posture. Come center again, lift, sit really tall, come center, lift, same thing, elbow side, twist, I have four more, four, three, get that balance, two, and one. Now take a break for a second, lower that head, just shake everything out. Now we're going to practice this one more time. We're going to lift. Again, tighten those core muscles. Nice, solid frame. Don't let those shoulders pull you forward. You want to open that chest. Palms are forward. Shake out those fingertips. Now as you tighten your abdominals, you're squeezing down and you're lifting again. Really get that wide V in your back. Same thing. Exhale. I have four more there. Four. Three. Again, two, one. Now right from here, we want to lift, push down and balance, and come together. Now let that head follow, squeezing. So you want to like almost take that picture right there. And remember, if you can't lift your leg, that's fine. You can either just get the twist right there. You can tap your toe, there's always a modification or do the full exercise lift. Let's do four more. Four, let the head follow. Three, again, your abs are still tightening. Two, and one. Now take that stretch over the head. Inhale, and exhale. Melt into it, relax that arm, and kind of rotate that wrist, and then rotate it back the other way. Take it down, shake it all out. Now we have the other side up, and again, feel that oblique come over, inhale, and exhale, melt into that stretch, relax the head, rotate that hand around, and then reverse it back. We come down all the way, just shake it out. Now let's widen our stance one more time. Clap like you're clapping, your fingertips are together, come out all the way, inhale, and exhale, keep reaching, release that head. Now take it up and once more all the way up. Breathe. Remember, 10 second minimum, you can hold them longer. Separate those hands, look, focus the eyes. The head is still up, the eyes are to the floor and kind of go side to side, releasing that lower back. Roll up slow. Now take your feet together in front. Remember that posture, imaginary string, making us nice and tall. Open those shoulders and breathe. We have two more. Take it two and one. Now one more time. Gently tip that head and open that chest. Drop those shoulders. Breathe normally. Hold. Slowly lift it. Other side. Drop the shoulder. Just stay right there. Hold. And come center. Now a nice deep breath. Fill it up with oxygen. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times, deep breath up. Sit as tall as you can, work on that posture. Exhale, one last time. Up, lift, hold, 
and exhale all the way down. You did an amazing job today. We really worked hard on our cardio and various other strength exercises as well as stretching. So I think we kind of worked every muscle. So make sure you stay hydrated, drink enough water. And if you can throughout the day, maybe review a few of the stretches just to keep your muscles flexible. So I really look forward to our next session. Stay strong.